Good morning everyone and welcome to our first day of home learning together. So we are learning about a new topic called traditional tales and we are going to be looking at the story Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Before we do that let's find out what day it is today. It's a brand new year, we're in 2021 and today is Monday the 11th of January. What day is it today everyone? That's right, it's Monday. You can click on the link if you want to sing the Monday song from the PowerPoint. Okay, what's the weather like today? Have a look out of the window. It's been very cold recently, hasn't it? Is it snowing today? Is the sun shining? Is it cloudy or windy? Can you see raindrops? Or is it very icy and frosty outside? What does the weather look like out of your window? Have a look now. Well done everyone. Okay, let's see what we're going to be doing today. First of all, our rights respecting. So do you all love to learn? Yes, you do. Every child has the right to an education. And do you all love to play? That's right, every child has the right to play. So today we're going to learn and play together. How are you feeling today? It's time to look at our zones of regulation. Are you feeling blue today? Maybe you're feeling a bit sad, or a bit tired, or a bit bored. Are you feeling green today? Happy, ready to learn, focused? Show me with a smile if you're feeling happy today. Are you feeling yellow today? Maybe you're feeling a bit worried or a bit confused. Learning from home is a bit different to what you're used to, but there's no need to be worried about it. We'll be together again soon. Maybe you're feeling red today. Show me that angry face. <clears throat> I hope nobody's feeling angry or mad today. But if you are, talk to your grown-ups about it and that will help you to feel better. I'm feeling happy today. Well done, everyone. Today, we're going to talk about something happy that you did during the holidays. Because you've been at home for three weeks with no school, spending time with your families. Maybe you were celebrating Christmas. Maybe you were just enjoying your time together with your family. You might have been playing in your garden if you have one. You might have been playing with your toys. Maybe you've been watching some movies or some TV. Maybe you've been helping with the cooking. Hmm. Maybe you've been video calling or phoning some other people from your family or your friends who you're not seeing at the moment. I'd love for you today to draw a picture of that memory. Try and include some circles and lines in your picture and if you're really really up for a challenge you could try and write your name too. Here's my go, I'm going to have an example now to show you. Right, I'm going to think about my happy holiday memory and I'm going to draw a picture. Now, I did lots of things in these holidays. I celebrated Christmas. Um, I played in the garden with my children and you know what it was my birthday as well so maybe I'm going to draw a picture of me celebrating my birthday that's one of my happy memories of this holiday so I'm going to do circle for me of my head and a line for my body I have two legs two arms and I'm going to do my eyes nose and mouth because I'm feeling really happy because it's my birthday my hair see my hair oh I better draw my glasses there we go fantastic so there's me I'm really happy because of my birthday I had a birthday cake um, and I had a present with a bow on the top um, and everyone was singing happy birthday to me so I was really happy um, that's one of my happy memories let's think of another happy memory right, I'm going to rub this one out because not many of you would have had birthdays in this holiday so another happy memory I had was when I was reading some new books to my little girl so here is Mr. Gentry again. I'm going to draw 
my eyes, my glasses, my nose, my hair. Okay, there I am. And then I'm going to draw a picture of the book. Lots of writing and lots of pictures in it. And then I'm going to draw a picture of my little girl. She enjoyed me reading the book to her. There we go. That was one of my happy memories, reading books with my family. Okay, now I've drawn my picture and you could draw anything. You might draw a picture of you on Christmas Day if you celebrated Christmas with a Christmas tree. Uh, you might draw a picture of you going for a walk outside. You might draw a picture of you playing with your favourite toys. Whatever you did in the holidays that made you feel happy, draw a picture of it. And then I'm going to write my name. So I'm going to do... Mm, Mrs. Gentry. Mm. And Mrs. Gentry, did you see how I was holding my pen with my pinchy fingers? <laughs> I've written my name. So if you want a challenge, you can try and write your name. If drawing a picture is too tricky for you, that's fine. You could do some, try and do some lines like this. You could try and draw some circles like this. You could do some zigzag zigzags. Just make some marks on the paper. Just practice holding a pencil and making some marks or holding a crayon or a pen. If you find it a bit hard using a crayon or a pencil and you can't push hard enough, then a pen is really good for making marks. Hopefully everyone will be able to do some drawing and if you can, try and do some name writing as well. Fantastic. Well done, everyone. I'll see you again next time. Bye.